In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on university advice for international students. So last week, I asked some of my international friends over at Loughborough University in the UK what their best advice for any incoming international students was, and this was their responses. Hello, my name is Stuart Lunga, still for short, and I'm from Zambia. My best advice to the international students, I've actually got three main points. Number one is be open and free. You are going to a new country and may not know a few things and you may not know a lot of people. So you have to be open to get advice from people that have gone before you. That way you'll be able to get as many tips as you can and that will help you have a successful first year and the other years to come. That's essentially what I did my first year. Just being open and teachable to the people that were kind enough to share what worked for them. I feel there's nothing better than learning from other people's mistakes. That helps you to not make the same mistakes. Obviously you will make mistakes. It's part of learning, but it's better to make new mistakes than make the same mistakes as the people around you. And by being free, I just mean be yourself and you attract the right circle of people around you. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. <laughs> Number two, get involved and socialize. In my first year, I was that guy that stayed in my room for almost all the time and I wouldn't want that to be you. Attend as many events as you can, join societies, speak to new people, make friends, and just find something you really enjoy doing within the university community. Number three, be deliberate about learning the new culture. You may have visited the UK at some point, but trust me, living here and visiting two different things. So obviously you need to learn as many things as you can. There'll be things that will be a bit foreign to you and that's okay because it's a different culture. So you may need to Google stuff. You may need to ask people why that is that way. Like why do people act this way? Yeah, like a few things will be different, especially for those that are coming from like an African culture. Like there'll be a lot of things that will be different and you may need to like Google stuff to like understand. And obviously like ask the people that have lived here long enough, like African people that have lived here long enough they'll be able to like explain to you um obviously that's not like a big factor but that will help you to like kind of let some things slide um some people say some stuff that won't like really make sense to you like people that were born in this culture will do things that will be like a bit different from your culture and obviously like you feel the need to like kind of understand why they're doing it so obviously you may need to like ask people around you people that have lived here long enough and also google stuff like i had to google some stuff um obviously i wasn't really invested in this culture before coming here so obviously like i had to learn a few things on my own and yeah that kind of helped obviously i met people from here before i came here but that wasn't enough for me to like understand some bits of the culture so yeah just being deliberate about learning the culture because you'll be adapting to two things the uni life as well as the culture shock so obviously like if you are more deliberate about the other one which is the culture you'll be able to have like a very good uni experience because i don't think academics and law will be a problem to you because i understand like for you to make it to lafra obviously like you must be really smart and for you to think of coming to lafra then yeah like a really smart person so that won't be a problem the main problem would be like these are the things that contribute to the way you live your daily life so so yeah just be deliberate about learning the new culture and these are the things you kind of like flow and they're just like heading the right direction that's a wrap those were my three main tips hopefully you can come to lapra and yeah good luck with everything hi i'm sweeter than i'm from malaysia so one big tip i have for you is to really Learn how to make a comfort food in your home country. So it should be from your grandmother or from your mother. It's inevitable that you're gonna feel homesick. So to have this little secret recipe in your toolbox to take out whenever you do feel homesick, I think that's really important. My name is Nicholas. I'm from Italy. The best advice I could give to international students is to join a society. The easiest way to break ice with other people, especially when you do not know their culture. That's the best way to make new friends. And once you have those few friends that you really care about then your life in uni is way easier. Hi, I'm Nuri Sultan and I'm from India. I recently finished my master's last month so from Lafra University and I'm going to talk to you about the advice that I have for you guys. Basically I have two for advice for you. So if you are coming for a master's degree at Lafra University, I'm going to ask you guys to get involved into as many stuff as possible, as many activities, join societies because Lafra is very well known for that and I'm pretty sure you're going to find something that is going to be of your interest. 
and basically it's going to help you have a better development overall not just in your studies because I think that in my opinion studies and your activities should always be working parallelly and that's for the bachelors and if you're going for masters I'll say that try to get involved into finding a job as soon as possible I'll say in the first or second month of your uh, starting of the degree because that's the peak time when all job applications start so if you're going to be looking for jobs quickly quickly you're going to find much more opportunities and you're going to have better interviews overall so try to look for jobs as quickly as possible and moreover if you're going to be working on a master's degree project I'll say go with the topic which you prefer working on and I mean you love the topic in general because otherwise you're going to be working on the topic for six months and if you don't like the topic you're not going to be what do you call that passionate about working on that topic so try to find a topic which you love and then basically you're going to have it's not going to feel like a project and you're going to love the process anyway and eventually you're going to make a nice mark anyway so uh, yeah, those are some of the advice that I would like to give you guys. Um, yeah, thank you. I also had a conversation with one of my close friends, Vedant. I asked him basically what life was like as a student at Loughborough University and life as a student in the UK. Here is what he had to say. Hey, my name is Vedansh. I come from India. I'm studying automotive engineering. It's pretty convenient depending upon what bank account do you want. Like, are you looking at a virtual bank account like Revolut Monzo? or you want a conventional bank account like maybe uh, HSBC or Lloyds. So if you want like a conventional bank account then you might need to undergo some application processes and might take a little long. And if you want a bank account with Revolut or Monzo then it's, it's pretty convenient. It just takes like five minutes, you fill up the form and the bank account is done. I was sent a mail from the university to tell to uh, like mentioning to register with the GP. So I had to fill up a form mentioning my Health, previous health conditions, do I smoke, do I drink and all of that and just sent it off and it was pretty easy you just have to fill up a form and you get a confirmation mail like in a few weeks that you're registered with the GPA. Fast for me I'd say because given my background I come from a boarding school so I mean I already know how to leave away from family and do things on my own so I mean not much time. The campus is huge you gotta walk from one place to another all the time although you have the buses with you but I mean you still you cannot avoid the walking part so and the campus is like a mini home to you it, it's got solution to everything you got the spa stores you got the union with you you got study spaces there you got greens in there you got a lake at the back of the campus so it's it's just like a home abode and the town can't say much about it i mean the whole town depends on the university itself you got uh self-sufficient uh, like needs covered there but could have been better mm. there's a lot of dissimilarities in here I mean, I cannot think much of similarities. Talking about differences, I guess, it's about the diversity that you get here, that the exposure that the campus has to offer, and definitely the freedom. You, I mean, you can go out anytime you want, study late nights, and there's no one objecting you, there's no one waking you up, or there's no one over here to disturb you. You can just enjoy whatever you feel like doing. And um, this, uh, like, um, similarities, I. I don't think so there's any, this is a whole new world altogether, so it's, it's going to be a new experience for all. For me, I'd, I'd say I attended a lot of events, so when I was a fresher, I made sure that uh, I attended all of the events that I liked and the university kept on organizing a lot of fresher events around, like there were the societies and there were the other networks in the university, different sections. So you attend a lot of events as much as possible and then that's how you get to know a lot of people. Just join groups, start conversations, be a little friendly and you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, well, Love Bra is an inclusive community. I've met literally a lot of people from different parts of the world. So it is. it feels really good to meet a lot of people, talk to them, know about the culture. So it's all been amazing. I'd say be adaptive because not everything is gonna be the way you have like you have always lived in your previous life things are going to be a little different you're living in an inclusive community you're talking to people from around the world and the university life itself is going to be different like in terms of academics in terms of going out maybe in terms of uh, the excess amount of freedom in your hands so it's all going to be a different thing i'd say more about the opportunities around because the university definitely has a lot to offer it's got massive set of opportunities for students in here. So I wish I knew m more about the opportunities and the 
key persons to get in touch with who could actually guide me well. The biggest lesson is maybe to just keep on going, not to stop because there's going to be ups and downs in life. The university life is not just uh, like a set of good memories. It, there's going to be some hard moments when you feel like when you just feel like breaking down, but it's going to be fine. At the end of the day, you'll have a happy ending. Oh. I mean, so I come from India. India is known for its spices, so can't say much about the food in here. But it's 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 fine enough. I live in a catered hall, so um, there's good variety of food that they serve in here. It's never the same. So um, I'm just doing fine, and when I don't like the food, I just look for myself. UK culture is amazing. The people in here are friendly. They are very cultured, disciplined, and they I mean, they are good to talk to. So it's definitely been an amazing time the people definitely that are as i mentioned people are good the infrastructure is good i mean wherever you want to go there's a good set of infrastructure laid out so you don't have you don't face any problems in terms of network connectivity and like uh, mobility solutions everything's pretty good compared to my country mm, this one's my favorite question i think it's the weather so it's it's unpredictable you can't say much about the weather it's always windy here and it just rains and get sunny or just knows anytime so yeah get ready with that oh it's pretty convenient uh wherever you go you have got uh like options of choosing cab or maybe trains coaches buses or you can just private hire your car it's it shouldn't be an issue at all um uh, not really i mean english is the most spoken uh language over here and i come from an english medium school so i've been i've been taught in english since my primary school so never an issue with that a little bit i'd say uh not significant but it was all fine because uh like i always had this thing in my mind that i, I gotta stay adaptive but lovebra has an inclusive community i mean i always found people to talk to over here so i i was never left out yeah, exactly. Not surely, not at all. I mean, in terms of discrimination and stereotyping, I guess we all stand at the same uh, idea that we uh, we don't support any kind of discrimination or racism. So people are like-minded over here, and they are pretty uh, like uh, good to talk to as well. Oh yes, completely. So the university take care of the international student pretty well. Um, they have different sets of activities, opportunities laid out just for international students you have one section of the the lover students union dedicated just to the international student that keeps on organizing events and stuff so you never left out it's not difficult but you got to put in effort so if you're putting efforts in the right way you're connecting with the right you're connecting the right dots and uh taking help from the careers network i guess you're you'll be fine i think it's my time with my flatmates and like the people around my hall so going out with them spending time and doing stuff that i never imagined to do like having heavy nights out and breeze and loads of music around for everything i guess is the campus campus is pretty good i mean it's it's got solutions for everything you can just walk from one place to another it's pretty green not that it's just full of buildings you have a good space to walk around and there's bus bus stops at campus so you can just take buses around i mean lafra town i guess we need some more nightclubs and shopping spaces i either choose to go to leicester or nottingham for my like the night out uh, needs but I wish Lovebra had better clubbing scenes. There's loads of international events happening throughout the year. The international network keeps on organizing something or the other for the uh, international students. For me, I guess it's the Bollywood night. I definitely make sure that I do not miss a Bollywood night when it's coming up. It's my favorite. Depends on the course. So if you're if you're applying for an engineering course like I do, uh, it was a little tough because the grades that lovebra accepts are like are set at a higher benchmark so you got to strive hard for it accommodation depending upon you want to go catered or self catered you have wide range of varieties to choose from i chose royce because it's like at the center of the campus and it's catered so it's five days catered i don't have to cook for myself just for the weekends that should be fine so it's it's a good combination of everything and the good part is lovebra offers catered hall which a lot of university does not so you know you're on the safe side insightful happening and joyous so that's been all for today's video if you did find this video useful please be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and if you've got any comments or queries at all leave a comment down below 
But that's all from me. Wish you guys all the best, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.